Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today. Okay, before we get started, I need to address something right quick, and I am so embarrassed by it, but here goes. There was another boo-boo in the drawing. I was going through the list last night thinking the other person surely has not emailed me and, and, and wondering why. Well, the other person did not, they were not the winner. It was a Debbie another Debbie and uh, she was not number 18 my list deferred from the other one and I will never ever do it that way again I do apologize the winner for the second set of hands number 18 was Audrey Amanda uh, I don't know why she she didn't reach out to me maybe she hasn't seen the video but uh, Audrey Amanda you are the winner congratulations and I am so sorry Debbie um, I will give you five days Audrey to uh, send me your email and uh, if you uh, don't, then I'll do another drawing for the second set of hands. Okay, let's read our inspiration for the day. It is only when we have the courage to face things exactly as they are, without self-deception or illusion, that a light will develop out of events by which the path to success may be recognized. I Ching is the name. That's a beautiful quote. Beautiful. Okay, let's get into our project for the day. Here is mold number one. And mold number two. These molds I got from Timu. And it is a boy and a girl angel. And they are praying angels. And we are going to make them out of mix to mold. But that's not all we're going to do with them. We're going to do something else with them as well. This is going to be part one of a part two video. Because it's going to be um, too long to put into one video. So I'm going to see what all we can get done in this video. And then we will end it. And then tomorrow we'll finish the uh, project. Okay, I'm putting my mix to mold in my cup right now. I'm... I haven't been doing this long enough to really um, know how much I need for my molds. So I'm just winging it here. I'm going to do one cup of mixed to mold. And it says on the directions when you do one cup of mixed to mold, you need six tablespoons of water. So I think I have enough here for a cup. And I'm going to scoot this to the side. And then I have three little measuring cups here. And each measuring cup reads two tablespoons. So we're going to need three of these to equal six tablespoons. So there's two tablespoons. And I'm trying to turn that around so I can see it because there, if you fill it completely up, then you went over the two tablespoons. So I'm trying to make sure I get right on that line that says two tablespoons. So now we have four tablespoons. And that makes six. So we have all our water that we're going to need. I'm going to move them right over here to the side. And I like to add uh, a little bit of mixed mold and a little bit of water. And then stir. And then keep doing it like that until I get it all stirred up. I don't like to add it all at one time because it's too hard for me to stir. And I don't feel like I get the lumps and clumps out of it. So I put two tablespoons of water in the dish here, and I'm going to put a little bit of mixed mold in and then stir. I used to use a whisk for this, but and I really did like the whisk, but the only thing I didn't like about it was at the bottom of the whisk, it's kind of circular, so it doesn't get down into the bottom part of the dish. 
So I just quit using it because I can get everywhere in the dish with this popsicle stick. Now I'm going to put two more tablespoons of water into my dish here. Give it a little bit of a stir. And I'm making sure I get the sides of my dish and the bottom uh, really well. Because the mixed mold likes to clump up on the sides and in the bottom of your uh, whatever you're stirring it in. Now I'm going to add a little bit more mixed mold. Oh, let's just throw the rest of it in there. <laughs> we have two tablespoons of water left anyway. So let's see if we can get this stirred up and see what kind of consistency I have. Sometimes I have to add a little bit more mix to mold, and sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more mix to mold, so I'm going to go ahead and drop some more in my dish here and stir it up and see what kind of consistency I have. I need a little bit more, so I'm going to stir it up and see where I'm at. You have to be really quick with this stuff and I can feel it uh, getting a little bit uh, firm on me. It's not as easy to move the popsicle stick through it as it was before, but it's still kind of soupy looking. It still doesn't look like the consistency I need. I need a little bitty bit more. And now I need to stir this up and then get on with it. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about the mixed mold. You have to be super fast with it. I mean, you can't waste any time. If you do, you run the risk of letting it cure in the dish. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, this poured into the mold. And I'm going to pour just a little bit. And then I'm going to squish it, the mold, squishy, squishy, squishy it. Uh, tap, tap, tap it. And then add some more. And now I've made it up to where the wings are at. So now I'm going to take the wings and squishy, squishy, squishy. And I'm going to see if I can uh, get my silicone tipped brush over here and see if this will help me out. I'm going to run it through the wings and make sure I get the mixed mold in there really good. Because sometimes when that mixed mold meets the mold for the first time, it'll just clump up right there and make an air pocket and it won't move. So... I'm hoping that running that silicone tip brush through there will do the trick. And I'm just going to squeeze on those wings a little bit more. And tap, 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 tap the mold. And I am hoping I do not get any bubbles in this angel. Now I'm going to go ahead and top this mold off. And I don't think I'm going to be able to move it because the silicone is sticky and it is sticking to my table. So I'm afraid that if I pull it up, it's going to spill. And I'm just going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to use my silicone tip brush here and run it through those uh, little areas on its head and its hair. You know, hoping that I don't get a little air pocket there. I haven't quite made it full, uh, filled the wings up yet, just the uh, maybe beginning of the wings. Now this pour right here will get those wings. And I'm just going to run the brush through the wings.
and now go ahead and top the mold off. I seen a little bubble, so I just uh, poked at it, and it popped. <laughs> okay, I have a little bit of mixed mold left, but I did prepare for this just in case. So I laid some molds over here to the side, and I'm going to reach and grab one. And it's an angel, and it's a protecting angel. It says guide and protect around the edges of it. So let's see if we can get a good turnout with it. And I thought maybe we could use it for one of those pocket hug cards. You know, that says the little pocket hugs that say a little heart from me to you. Filled with lots of love and big hugs too. Love you lots. Um, I'm not sure if it will fit onto one of those, but we're going to try. I thought it would be really cute on one of the pocket hug cards. I always make a mess when I use this stuff. Always. <laughs> now I have a little mold here that's a, a vase, a vase. Vase, vase, I don't really know the difference. And you know, some people say vase or vase. But it's a little tiny vase. And uh, I thought it would be cute to uh, do it in mixed mold. Now, here's the other molds that we're going to use in our creation. And I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do with this yet. I'm going to see if anyone can guess what we're going to make. Now, I chose these little angels here. And I'm just going to brush this uh, Let's Resin Chameleon Powder through each of the angels. And it is the olive color. Because we're going to need these angels with what we're going to be doing. And I sped this part up just a little bit because... Um, you know, it's just wouldn't be that much fun to sit and watch. <laughs> now I grab the other little angel mold. And this is the one we done in the mixed mold on uh, Friday. And they just kept breaking. So we're going to do them in resin this time. And I'm brushing that same Let's Resin Chameleon Powder and Olive into the mold. And we're going to use these angels as well in our creation. And I'm almost done here. Okay, I have some resin mixed up, and this is my new alcohol bottle that I got, and I love it. Uh, I'm going to put drop some of that uh, resin down into the mold. And I'm using my silicone tip brush so I can run it through the little intricate areas in there to uh, push those bubbles out. How was everyone's weekend? I hope everyone had a great weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. What did everyone do for their weekend? Okay, I think I'm finishing up with this mold here. I'm going to top off this last little angel here. And now we're going to go ahead and fill this mold up with the resin. And 
and I'm just taking that brush and running it through putting a little bit of resin in there and then uh, raking my brush through the mold so that I can nudge any bubbles that may be hiding in there. And I switch to a uh, smaller brush because this is a smaller mold and the angels are smaller so that a uh, fine tipped brush can get into all of those little intricate areas inside the mold. And now I'm going to run through and top off each angel in the mold. Now, here are the other molds that we're going to be using in our creation. There are two. And I will be doing these molds twice. And then here are some Bible scriptures, and I'm going to hold the mold up to them to see which ones I can fit inside of these molds. I only need two scriptures. We're not going to need another scripture when we mold these the second time, only for this time. So I've chosen the two that I want that will fit in there, and I'm going to cut them out right quick. I'm not going to get any of the flowers or anything, just the scripture is what I'm after. Okay, I got that one out. Now let's get this one out here. Okay, those are the two we're going to use. And I trimmed them up a little bit more. And now I'm going to spray some alcohol into the molds. And then this is the resin that was left over from the angels. And we're going to add a little bit of glitter this time to that clear resin. And I am using uh, Let's Resin Epoxy. And I'm going to stir that glitter up in there. And I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in each mold. Just enough to uh, fill the surface up. And I'm going to run my heat gun through it, popping any surface bubbles. And now I'm going to peel off this first uh, Bible verse here, and it's transparent. And I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol on the front and the back of it. So that uh, maybe no bubbles will stick to it. And it's looking like it's a bit too wide to go left to right. Let me get it down in here so I can see if I'm correct. And yes, it's a little bit too long and we can't cut any more of it off. So let's see if we can just turn it a little bit and put it in there like this. I don't think that will um, mess our creation up. I think it will look just fine like this. You'll still be able to read it with what we're going to do. I don't think it's going to be an issue turning it to the side like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Spray a little alcohol on it and drop it down in here. And we're going to kind of catty corner this one as well. And then I'm going to put a little bit more resin on the top of them, so hopefully they won't lift up. And I'm just making sure there's no bubbles on them. And 
and then I'm going to use my heat gun, but I'm not going to uh, use it very much because I don't want those uh, Bible verses to curl up on the edges from the heat. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and demold our angels and see what we got. I'm trying to pull them down and be very careful. I don't want to break one of their wings. I don't know how thick their wings will end up being, so I'm trying to be very careful. Oops, it fell. Oh, goodness. I hope I didn't break it. It doesn't look like I, there's anything on my table there where it chipped. This is the girl. Oh, she is beautiful. Look at that precious little angel. Oh, my goodness. So precious. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now let's get our little boy out and see if he is okay. I hope he doesn't have any bubbles in him. And I'm going to do him the same way as I got the other one out in hopes that I do not chip his wings. I did let them uh, cure longer than they should have so that you know, I would, they would be hard enough and maybe I wouldn't break one of their wings. I don't know why he seems to be a little bit harder to get out. <laughs> and I don't want to drop him on the table like I did her. Oh, goodness. Please don't fall on the table and break. <laughs> oh, there he is. Let me get my mold folded back out and we'll take a look at him. And here he is. Look at his little bow tie. Oh, he is precious. Look at that. So much detail in him. Look at his little shoes. Now, I did get two little air pockets back here, but no big deal. We can sand those right on out of there. And I'm, I'm just going to see if it, uh, yeah, I can get it sanded out. I'm not going to do it right here, but I'll go ahead and sand it out. You can see his little buttons on his jacket and everything. Aren't they precious? Look at that. What do y'all think of this? Isn't this too cute? I love it, love it, love it. They're precious. Okay, now let's get our other pieces out that we uh, poured the um, rest of the mixed mold that we had left in. And here is that angel I was telling you about that says guide and protect on the outside uh, area of the angel. I'll bring it up here a little closer and let you read it. I'm going to sand that right there. It says protect and guide. It turned out pretty decent. Let's get one of the pocket hug cards and see if she will fit on it. I think she's going to be too long. Yep, she's too long. You could turn her to the side and, and make it work, but I don't know if that... I don't think that would uh, be too bad. I don't know. We'll see. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that uh, should do something different and not use that angel on the pocket hug card? Let me know your thoughts on that, y'all. Here is the other angel. And I wasn't trying to get the keychain part up there on her because I know she's not going to be a keychain. But look, look at the angel down here at the bottom of her. Isn't that angel cute? 
And I'm going to sand that up a little bit down there and uh, make sure that it looks nice. And then the next one's going to be our vase. But let me go ahead and tell you guys, we're about to wrap this video up. Um, it's about that time. My friends, I will see you tomorrow and see if everybody can guess what we're going to finish our creation up with. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, God bless you. Goodbye, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.